All right, cheers, let's drink. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Happy early St. Patrick's Day, this is why I am looking the part. Um, I know this day, people know it as a day to drink green beer. Just have beer and add a few drops of like green food coloring and you're good to go. Um, but you know what? I thought to recreate this drink I had at a Japanese restaurant. And this is the melon soda ice cream float. And you know, it looks so pretty. I feel like it's really like St. Patty's kind of feel. But yeah, at the same time, like kids friendly, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you are interested in how to make this drink, keep on watching! It's a, basically an ice cream float but instead using the Japanese melon soda and then top with vanilla ice cream on top. Um, yeah, I had this in um, like some ramen restaurant and I thought to just make it at home and show you guys as St. Patrick's Day is coming and if you want to be kids friendly, you can go for this version. So let's get started. Oh, there we go. This is marble here and you just push it down with this. Something cool about this drink is when you're drinking it, if you drink it from this side, there's this dent on the side here and it prevents that marble from getting clogged up here. Um, so yeah, it's all that little tiny detail that Japanese people put in place. See what I mean? The marble is going to clog it, but if you drink it like this, the marble stays there. All right, cheers, let's drink. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is a very delicious drink. Um, high in sugar, so yeah, be careful. Um, but yeah, inside is I don't know if you guys heard of this, uh, Ramune, they're known for these super cool glass drinks. Melon soda with ice and ice cream at the top. So if you're not into the whole melon flavor, um, you can go for any non-colored soda like Sprite, add a few drops of, one drop probably, one or two drops of uh, green food coloring and you'll have pretty much the same effect. Um, but yeah, this is a legit drink you can buy at restaurants and it is pretty tasty. Isn't it pretty? Look at the bottom, it's so clear and then it gets foggy. Like I said in many of my videos before, I do love the gradient look. So, very pretty. So how you eat this is... Mm, just like that, so... You can scoop away at the ice cream at the top. Mm. Enjoy your ice cream and then after you finish enjoying your ice cream, you can start digging a little further and get a little bit of the melon soda. 
you can mix it up and then you can also just drink it I do recommend this give it a try not just for St. Patty's Day like just try it out anyways regardless it's a cool drink to make for a guest if you can have guests because probably can't right now or like family in your close circle bubble in your bubble as long as your your guests are inside your bubble you can make this for them and go like oh look at this pretty drink mm. I do say it's kid friendly but at the same time I do not take responsibility if they start jumping all over the place because this is ice cream and soda in one cup so be careful <laughs> let's mix it up So now it's all nice and mixed. You can see it looks kind of like a matcha color when it's all mixed with the ice cream. <laughs> it just feels like the sugar. Whoa! It's fizzy, it's vanilla-y, it's melony. I don't know. If you enjoy those flavors, give it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment down below, ring that notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, bye!